Once you're registered with KidBlog, you'll want to go directly to your dashboard and set a few things up. So I'm in my blog, and you can see I, I've already set up my kid blog. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin up here at my control panel, and uh, it's going to take me to my dashboard. So as you can see here, I've got a lot of different places I can go. You'll spend a lot of time here. I'm going to go ahead and go to settings, and the first thing you want to do is come to settings and um, make sure that everything is right with your blog you want to check your class title uh, that can be different from your the web address of your blog and uh, you, here's where you can get themes and themes are are great and this is a nice feature of kid blog I've got numerous themes that I can click into I can change these anytime I want uh, students can change their themes which is really nice it gives them a great sense of autonomy so I can come back to general again I can set my time zone uh, I can enable other devices if I want to publish to these kinds of mobile devices I can enable that as well and then I can save those changes again I adjust themes up here I've got posts and uh, there's a lot of guidelines for posting from an administrative standpoint that I, I may want uh, so if I set up multiple classes which I can very easily on kid blog uh, I might want to for this one who can read posts users in a certain class if you only want them to read your posts uh, students may read the teachers post I think that's probably a good idea and uh, there's a lot of things you can do and you want to go through and look at these and decide uh, what's the best way for you comments is another important one in your settings area on the dashboard and uh, you, here you can see or you can set up who can comment uh, if you want to moderate the comments I think this one's really important approval uh, the teacher must approve comments so if you're allowing your students to comment which is really a key piece to blogging you will want to come in look at those comments and um, you know approve those ahead of time so uh, of course over here is users and we're going to talk more about users and setting up users in the next video so that is general settings on your dashboard in the settings tab